All right, so let's see how much you know about one of the most important topics in algebra, and that topic is functions. Okay, so we have this function here, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, and we want to evaluate this function for a plus b, or we want to find f of a plus b in this function right here. Okay, now if you know what to do and you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 4a minus 4b. Okay, so we have a pretty long polynomial expression here. Now, if you don't have the terms in this exact order, but uh, you have all these terms, well, that indicates to me that you did this right, and you're going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Miss D2 Math Man, I am totally confused. What should I do here? Well, this is not that difficult, and I can definitely help you out. So the first step in solving this problem is to make sure you actually understand what it means to evaluate a function. Okay, so here is our function here. We have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, and we want to evaluate this function for f of a plus b. But uh, before we do this problem here, let's do a simpler problem, and that's this right here. So we have the same function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, but uh, let's evaluate this function for 2. All right, so f of 2, do you know the answer? Well, if you do, put that into the comment section. But uh, what does it mean to evaluate a function? Well, actually, this is a pretty uh, simple concept. So we're trying to find f of 2. So if we look here in our function, we have an x right here. Okay, and of course, uh, we don't have an x right here. We have a 2. But notice this variable x, it's the same variable right here in this expression. So f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, or f of some number is going to be equal to that number squared minus 4 times that number. So f of 2 is going to be equal to 2 squared. We're going to replace all the x's here with 2. So that's going to be 2 squared minus 4 times 2. Now, of course, uh, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And uh, 4 minus 8, of course, is negative 4. All right, so we evaluated this function or plugged in the number 2 into the function, and we simplified the math here, and we got negative 4. So f of 2 of this function is negative 4. Okay, so what does it mean to evaluate this function for a plus b? Well, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, maybe we need to replace this x with a plus b. Well, if we do that, we're going to have to replace this, this x and this x with a plus b as well, and then simplify the remaining expression. So that's what we want to do here. We want to find f of a plus b. So the algebra is going to look like this. Okay, so here is our function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x. We want to find f of a plus b. So we're going to be plugging in a plus b where these x's are at. And then, of course, we're going to do all this algebra and simplify the function. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we understand what it means to evaluate a function, we can evaluate this function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, with f of a plus b. So that means we need to replace all these x's with a plus b. All right, so f of a plus b is going to be equal to a plus b squared. Again, we're uh, replacing all these x's with a plus b. So that's a plus b squared minus 4 times a plus b. Okay, so now we get to do all this lovely algebra. And uh, let's go ahead and start with a plus b squared. 
All right, so a plus b squared means take a plus b and multiply it by itself. Okay, so we can use the FOIL method here, uh, first, outer, inner, last, or any other method that you know to multiply polynomials. But uh, basically, we're going to have a times a. So that's a squared. a times b is ab. b times a is ba or ab. And then b times b is b squared. All right, so we have some like terms here. So a plus b plus a plus b is 2ab. So uh, now we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so that is what a plus b squared is equal to. So we did this part of the problem, and that's probably the hardest part. Now we have to go ahead and simplify this part of the function right here. So this is minus 4 times a plus b. All we have to do is take this on negative 4 and multiply it by a and multiply it by b. So we're going to have negative 4a and negative 4b. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan this polynomial to see if there's any like terms. We have an a squared here. Well, we have no other a squares. Uh, a, b here, we don't have any more a, b's. We have a b squared here. No other uh, b squares. This is an a, this is a b. So this is actually our final answer. Okay, so here again is our function f of a plus b of this particular function is uh, a plus b squared minus four times a plus b. And the final answer is this, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 4a minus 4b. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.